Hi, a very interesting topic for discussion in this video. What is the difference between dividend yield, payout and rate? These are three commonly used terms and commonly misunderstood terms as well. So, what difference in these we will get to know in this particular video. Let's take an example and let's understand that uh, why there is some confusion around these terms as we look at them. So, there's a grab from one of the newspaper articles very recently which talked about companies giving out dividends at various points of time and in the last year how the dividend has increased. The article talks about how the dividend has grown in the percentage terms and you know talks about numbers like you know how much has TC has given as dividend. We see something around 12,000 odd percent or 9,000 odd percent by page industries just below that right. So what do we make of this? It also says that if you look at how much profit was distributed as a dividend right so it says TCS the ratio was about 93 percent almost 94 percent as a percentage of their profit that was distributed. So what is this 94 percent and what is that 12,000 percent? Let's try and understand that in this particular video. Now these terms commonly get used across literature across a lot of media news and a lot of articles as well. So let's understand what's the relevance of each of these and which ones are more important for us and which ones are not really too important for us. We see sometimes they are also used incorrectly. The same article for example says that Page Industries uh, doubled its payout to 9000 percent. Right now payout is a different term and probably used incorrectly here in this particular sense. We will see Aisha Motors raised its payout to 7000 percent from 5100 percent. This is again an incorrect use of the term payout. So let's jump right into it. We'll take the example of a particular company. We'll take the example of Canara Bank. Right. What you see on the screen is the excerpt of the earnings release of Canara Bank. There are a few line items that we need to look at. So the company says they have recommended a dividend of 4 rupees per share. That is 200 percent of the face value of 2 rupees. Right. We also note another term on the right side which is the basic and diluted EPS for the year 2025 and that number is given here as 19.34. In the context of this, this is the information that we have. The stock price is around 110, 107 in this example that we've taken. The dividend that has been declared is 4 rupees. The face value of the stock is 2 rupees and the earnings per share is 19.3 for the last year. Right now let's take these terms one by one. The first one that comes to us is what do we mean by dividend yield? The term dividend yield means what is the return that you make on the stock in terms of the dividend. So as a percentage of the stock price, what is your dividend? That is what dividend yield means. So effectively in our example, dividend declared is 4, market price is 107. So the dividend yield will work out to something like 3.7%. That's the meaning of the term dividend yield. This is very commonly used in a lot of uh, lot of uh, products as well. For example, you have a dividend yield mutual fund as well or uh, you know sometimes you kind of try and find out what is the dividend yield that is there of the index as well. So this is a very common term and probably the most important for us in the terms of an investor, right? The second term is something called as dividend payout. How much money out of its profit has the company distributed as dividends is defined by dividend payout. So dividend payout is dividend divided by the earnings per share. Basically your total dividend paid divided by your net profits. We will also note that uh, the reinvestment rate that the company has, right? Reinvestment rate is nothing but my 1 minus the payout ratio, right? Jitna amount mein dividend ke form mein payout nahi kiya hai, wo company mein reinvest ho gaya. That'll get reinvested in the firm. And that is basically where dividend payout is important. So in our case, 4 rupees dividend, 19 rupees EPS. So roughly about 21% of the profit was distributed in the form of dividends. 79 odd percent was reinvested in the business, put back in reserves of the company to be used for the business in going ahead. The final term is dividend rate, probably the most meaningless term of all. This was actually what was reported on that uh, on that uh, news piece which is 200 percent of the face value that we see here. This term basically says that uh, how much is dividend as a percentage of the face value. That's what dividend rate or sometimes dividend percentage talks about. This is the term that article was talking about. If a company pays 100 rupees dividend 
on a one rupee face value, dividend by face value, this number will appear to be 10,000% as was the case with TCS there, 12,800% that you saw was because in a one rupee face value, they would have given a dividend of 128 rupees. Dividend divided by the face value is what is dividend rate. Practically a meaningless number from an investor's perspective because you don't really use face value anywhere. What you are bothered about is dividend yield or dividend payout. Dividend yield is telling you how much of the return you're making in the form of dividend as a percentage of the share price. So if I invest in a stock that is at 200 rupees and I make 4 rupees as dividend, my dividend yield is 4 upon 200, which is 2%, right? Dividend payout is telling you how much of the company is, uh, how much of the company's profits are being paid out to you in the form of dividends, which basically gives you two ideas. One, how much dividend you're getting and two, how much the company is actually reinvesting because reinvestment is what will drive growth in the future. So you would have read about this in some valuation modeling uh, exercises that, you know, towards the end, you assume that dividend re dividend payout ratios kind of go up in steady state of the company. So reinvestment becomes small. Once a company stops growing, they would tend to distribute most amount out as of their profits out as dividend. Right. That's what TCS is doing now. That's what Infosys is doing. They're paying out a lot of their profits out as dividend because they say that while growth opportunities exist, they have enough cash and they're generating enough cash every year. So payout in a sense tells you whether a company is generating a lot of cash that it doesn't need or it needs that cash and it's reinvesting continuously in the business. Yield and payout are the more important numbers. Dividend rate which is dividend percentage or dividend as a percentage of the face value, which is what this article really talks about, is practically, as I said, a fairly meaningless number. That's it in this particular video. Uh, if you have any suggestions in terms of what topics we should cover in other videos, please drop them in the, in the comments box. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't as yet. Thank you.